I think we did very well through the 70s and probably part way through the 80s. We were new, we were exciting, we were optimistic, we thought we could fix the world. We fixed quite a lot of things, but then slowly, 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 because I think neoliberalism and that whole sort of debate changed and suddenly issues of rights and particularly collective rights were disappearing. And if you look now, I suppose, having been around for all of that time, I can see that we're not actually progressing. I'd say for probably the last couple of decades we've been fairly stuck. We've had a few, one of this, break through the ceiling, etc. But there's really not been any major change to the culture of organisations, to the way that we regard masculinity and femininity, any of the things that are really important if we want serious equality. I think there's a very strong push against the idea of looking at what are seen as soft skills, you know, with the inverted commas around it, as opposed to hard skills, which sort of go with masculinity. You know, and the soft skills of the female are relationships, emotions, managing people, that whole stuff there. It's still very much seen as something that comes with the genes or something that you get for nothing. And to try and shift that into dealings with commerce, with markets, with tools, with technology, high technology, because women do a lot of the other things, is a major battle because basically the blokes that are running the place are not really going to want to hand over that sort of power. And there's a, a whole credibility gap, particularly at the moment, because we don't talk about social needs. We keep talking about economic needs. And as long as we talk about economic needs, the soft skills are going to be seen as less important because they're the least measurable in economic terms. I don't think I can say that in a quick grab, but it needs to actually recognise that somebody's got to take care of the kids. They've got to fix up a lot of things about bad policy. They've got to allow men to go out of the workforce and encourage them to do so rather than punishing them if they do so that there's somebody there to take care of kids as well. It means a whole revamp of the way we look at paid work and unpaid work before we really get into that. Trying to push women into the workforce just because it's going to push up our GDP means that we would end up with a much poorer social life, even if we have a much higher financial return, and I think we've got to seriously think about whether that's what we want. My catchphrase at the moment is, can we please start acting as though we live in a society and not an economy? There's a lot of social stuff that's been completely ignored or where we've had unfortunate bipartisanship particularly on areas like welfare and so on. I think it's time that we actually started setting up goals for a good society and then worked out from economics how we pay for it rather than the other way around. And if we do that, maybe we'll get the good social goals that we need. I don't think there's any one area I want a whole change of direction, but I always was a bit immodest about my demands. <laughs> I think Australia still hasn't learned how to deal with powerful women, so therefore we either shove them on pedestals or knock them over. I think a lot of that got caught in Gillard. When she made mistakes, they probably were exaggerated. When she failed to deliver on things, it allowed her to be stereotyped. But I think Gillard was more a symptom than a cause. She's a symptom of the fact we're going backwards. She's a symptom of the fact that we're not, we can't really deal with powerful women yet and that sexism seems to be even more acceptable these days than it was 10 to 15 years ago. So I think it was a good lesson to us to say pull our socks up or whatever the appropriate feminist term for that is and get into really having a look at why women are still seen as second-class citizens and even when we get one into a top position she's supposed to behave like a bloke but not too much like a bloke and she'll get punished for various things that she does that are seen as, as not appropriate. <laughs>